the military footage which is emerging from China. Uh, Ch the Chinese have really stepped up their military activity. This is some of the Chinese warships which have been deployed in the region, an amphibious uh, warship which carries helicopters and also uh, their aircraft carrier, the Shandong. Uh, so this is the, their amphibious uh, warship, uh, a very large amphibious warship which uh, is designed to actually uh, carry hovercraft and other uh, vessels and other um, platforms which can actually be used to land ships. Uh, this is uh, close in weapon systems and uh, anti-submarine rockets being fired from some of their main warships. Uh, so the Chinese have deployed this in the region, uh, but whether this aircraft carrier and this large amphibious transport uh, would actually be utilized in any offensive role or whether this is all posturing, that remains to be seen. Many would suggest that is essentially posturing. But there's more to this, so a few more images of what the Chinese uh, are actually up to. But before I go on to that, this is actually from Taiwan, and this shows the Chinese, I beg your pardon, the Taiwanese defenses uh, along their uh, maritime frontier. Uh, drones being deployed and launched to keep an eye on what's taking place. The Taiwanese Air Force is a robust air force. It flies uh, US F-16s, French Mirage 2000 aircraft, among others. They develop some of their own weaponry. Surface-to-air missiles, including the American-built Patriot surface-to-air missiles, are uh, uh, in, uh, in play in their defensive formations. Uh, but these are air defense exercises which the Taiwanese have been holding uh, at the same time. Uh, rapid firing anti aircraft guns uh, are what you see on your screen at this stage. Meanwhile, in Fujian, in China, there has been a uh, very heavy movement of Chinese military vehicles, including armored personnel carriers, and you can see also of tanks. Now, this is actually some of the most uh, worrying uh, footage, uh, which seems to suggest that China is massing its forces um, on its own borders. As you can see, Fujian, a modern city. But uh, alongside, uh, you know, their, their expressways and residential areas and office and commercial areas is this deployment of armored personnel carriers uh, moving to the port of Fujian, presumably, because there were images there as well. So some stockpiling of uh, armored personnel carriers uh, over there. If China were to, to invade uh, Taiwan, and that, as I keep mentioning, is still looking quite unlikely, uh, the, the use of tanks and, and, and amphibious vehicles uh, would be uh, paramount and that there would be an amphibious landing whether they'd be successful in that or not is another matter but uh, many of these armored personnel carriers in fact all of these that you can see on your screen are amphibious by themselves but they would need to be deployed uh, from warships which carry them before they're actually deployed and then they uh, swim themselves uh, onto two beachheads.